everybody! I'm here today with a beginner driving lesson on cornering driving techniques. In this video, I'll be going over some basic cornering techniques that you can use while driving a car. All right, so let's get right to it. I consider cornering to be taking a turn while still moving, for the most part. I consider it to be um, I'm basically turning without stopping the car. Now, you might consider it to be something different, but for this video, relevancy-wise, it is going to be about turning a car while not stopping. So, let's go over the techniques. I apologize about the poor lighting. I'm filming this late at night. I'm about to go to the gym, pump some iron, and um, I wanted to make this video. So, the first technique is looking. Now, believe it or not, you got to look where you want the car to go. If you're turning right, you're not going to be looking straight. You're going to be looking slightly to your right, okay? If you're turning left, you're going to be looking slightly to your left, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drive. I'm, I'm in an empty parking lot. This is like on the other side of the gym. There's nobody here. This is all offices right here. Everybody's long gone. If I'm turning right, I'm looking over here towards the right. Let's make sure there's no cars coming, okay? If I'm turning left, I'm looking right here towards the left. Very simple and straightforward. That's the first cornering technique. Okay, the second cornering technique is going to be holding the steering wheel steady. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drive and I'm going to show you an example of how I'd hold the wheel. Check this out. As I'm turning, as I'm cornering, I'm holding the wheel steady. Okay, once again, check this out. Holding the wheel steady. I'm going to turn over here. Check this out. Holding the wheel steady throughout the turn. Now, whether you turn with push pull steering, hand over hand, or one handed steering, Basically, the idea is that you want to turn the wheel, hold it, and then release it when you're done the turn, okay? Holding the wheel steady is a key factor for cornering properly. The third technique is going to be making micro adjustments. Now, micro adjustments are essentially when you're just moving the steering wheel a little bit throughout the turn. So check this out. If we were robots, or if our cars would drive automatically, which they will in the future, if they would do that right now, then they'd be able to turn the wheel, hold it in the exact same precise spot, and then release it at the exact precise time. But we're not that good. And if you think you're that good, you shouldn't be behind the steering wheel, to be honest with you. We're humans. We don't know how much exactly to turn the wheel, so we turn it roughly what we think, and then we make tiny little adjustments. As you can see right here, watch my finger. Tiny little adjustments that are that are done throughout the, the turning process. And when you make those tiny adjustments, they help perfect that curvature. So it's not perfect as is, but you make it perfect by making those micro adjustments. And that's the third uh, cornering driving technique. The fourth cornering driving technique is basically getting your car centered during the turn. And by that, I mean centered within your available spacing. So if I'm turning right here, I don't want to be too far to the right of my available space or too far to the left, okay? I want to be just centered. So check this out. I'm going to make a right turn here in the parking lot, just like that. And I want to be roughly centered exactly throughout the turn. Very simple. I'll make another right turn over here, okay? I want to be roughly centered throughout the turn. If I'm making a right turn and I'm too far to the right, I release the wheel a little bit to make my way towards the center. You want to be roughly centered. Did I say perfectly centered? No, I did not. That is not what I said. I said roughly centered. That's what you want to be. Last but not least is correcting your steering mid-turn. That is the fifth cornering driving technique. Let's say I make this turn, okay? And I, I oversteered a bit. Okay, I release it a little bit. No problem. And then I continue making the turn. Let's say I am going to make this turn over here. So I'm making this turn. Oh, I understeer. No problem. I give it a little bit of extra juice, just like that. At the end of the day, and I'll just make a few turns here to show you. At the end of the day, it's not about being perfect. It's about getting as close to perfect as, as humanly possible. And the idea is that if you're making a turn and you got to correct like that, or like this, or like this, or like that, if you have to correct mid-turn, that's no problem. I would rather you correct mid-turn than try and be overly confident and not want to correct your, your steering and then have a bad turn. So the idea, <coughs> sorry, the idea of correcting mid-turn is that you didn't make the turn perfectly, no problem. That's completely normal. 
So you correct it. And that's basically it. Those are essentially the five cornering driving techniques that you have to think about and use when you're turning. If you use these effectively, you should be able to corner and make those cornering turns properly, safely, and effectively with ease. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.